All right, the next thing that we're going to be working on is variables. What I want you to do is create a new file. So you can right click on main or one of the old .py files. Go to new, Python file. And I want you to type in store underscore info underscore in underscore a underscore variable .py. Nice long name. We have that night right here on the left hand side. So with variables, variables are a representation of a number, like the word price is the name of a variable. And this number of value is worth 10. So in other words, we have a variable called price. And then we are going to store the number 10 for like $10 into that variable price. Now, if we want to print that variable, we're going to say print the variable, the variable's name there, price. And when we run, we can right click and then hit run. And you can see the output is 10. Now, let's do one more example here. We, could, we don't have to call it price, we could also say test. Like our test average was at 89%. In order for us to print out that 89 or that test score, we have to make sure that the variable that we're calling or asking to print matches the variable that we want to get that 89. So when we run it, we get the 89 down here. Now this concept also works with strings. So instead of printing out the number, we want to print out the string. Got an 89%. We run it. I got an 89%. So when we print the variable, it prints out what is stored in the variable. In this case, the variable is test. This also works for variables as well, uh, integers as well, and uh, decimals. So let's say you got 7.25. We're storing that number into that variable and prints out 